Hi friends and welcome to Up Close with Lauren Show and Tell. Happy Boxing Day. I hope Santa was good to every one of you. Anyway, today I will be showcasing the Batman and Robin wave. Yes, I'm so behind, but these are some of my Santa, my, my Santa gifts. So I have the uh, statue of uh, Superman here. Superman uh, for tomorrow. My first ever McFarland Toys um, statue. You have the interrogation room of the Joker, which I will be reviewing as well. And of course, I have the full set of Batman and Robin wave. Um, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna just quickly unbox and quickly show to you the the the, the figures but it's not gonna be a thorough review let's start let's begin join me okay so we have the four boxes here and let's look at number one is Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl okay it has of course the Build-A-Fig and the Build-A-Fig is uh, Mr. Freeze of Arnold Schwarzenegger okay so you have the head and the uh, freeze gun the action figure and there's the back okay the second figure in the wave is poison ivy and has a torso side the back the third is robin chris o'donnell of course it has the two arms and some freeze effects of course chris o'donnell's robin and the back and last but not the least which is actually the weird is Batman and you have the lower extremities of Mr. Freeze some freeze effects there of course it's it's uh, George Clooney but this one it has the plastic cape as opposed to the soft soft cloth cape of the uh, set for Batman so you have all of this let's open each and every one up so here is the wave, Batgirl, Poison Ivy, Robin, and Batman. And just from one quick look, the star of this show would be Poison Ivy. Just the coloring of it is amazing. So this uh, episode is not going to be a thorough review on the action figures. It's more going to be a build a fig for the Mr. Freeze uh, uh, action figure. Okay, a quick look here. You have Batgirl. Alicia Silverstone, nice sculpt. The articulation are all going to be the same thing, the classic McFarland toys. Wonderful sculpt, wonderful look. And the cape is also a bit pliable. You have my favorite here. Oh my God, look at that. Amazing sculpt of Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy. Too bad there's no um, like a plant or some sort, you know, as an accessory. Um, but I love the color, love the look, bang on to Uma Thurman's look. And you have Robin of Chris O'Donnell. Of course, this is going to be the costume that has those nipples and which was quite a big deal in 1997, which is kind of like laughable nowadays, right? I think that this one would have been better if this one is painted more red than more mar more maroon okay so still nevertheless wonderful sculpt and again the head is bang on to chris o'donnell and of course you guys can see all of the respective parts of of arnold schwarzenegger as mr freeze and last but not the least you have michael sorry you have uh, george clooney's take on Batman here which is of course bang on amazing this line is amazing actually okay my only take here is that of course it also has the bat nipples there my only take here is that the trunk here it appears that it's kind of flat it's more flat I'm gonna do an in-depth review of this and, and the rest of the wave uh, later on I just want to open this up and do a quick review a quick feel of the figure himself so that I would be able to know whether or not it can be included in my top 20 for the year 2023 okay and of course you have the torso or you have the 
legs of Mr. Freeze. That would be some icicle effects here. And for Robin, you have this accessories as well, which is kind of nice. Look at that. Kind of, there's a bit of a sheen. And the arms, you have the torso of Mr. Freeze. And Alicia has, or Bad Girl has, the head. Okay, the head of Mr. Freeze. The Freeze gun with an effect like a uh, icicle coming out and you have some sort of uh, shoulder shoulder armor add-ons right there so let's quickly build um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's take on Mr. Freeze so finally Arnold is alive <laughs> Mr. Freeze is alive amazing amazing sculpt actually I love it it would have been better, you know, if they add a little bit more paint um, on the body here because there's so much texture, friends. There's just so much texture here that um, you'll be amazed, you know, like the sculpt and everything. And um, it's just too, like a too basic color of a scheme. You only have like a silver and then this, this um, baby blue. As opposed to the head here the head looks or the face rather looks so much like Arnold Schwarzenegger it even has that translucent headpiece here just like in the movie amazing and again it's just wonderful it would have been better if the if the rest of the body is like that of course having said that this is um, you know mass-produced action figure it's not one of those um, like a Mezco or Mayfex action figures right but for what it is it's it's not bad and and for people who actually knows how to costume or custom their their action figures this would be a fantastic and wonderful uh, character to do that because the textures are all there just need to add some more finishing some more um, wash into the action figure itself but just an amazing and it appears to be the tallest among the amongst amongst the four other the other four action figures okay it's amazing and then this one would be your add-ons I think might be for Robin because I remember that scene wherein he um, got submerged in that in that water and then Mr. Freeze uh, blasted it with this freeze freeze ray here so friends the articulation of mr freeze let's have a quick look you can easily just remove and put the gun so the head of course you can do the usual turning okay and the butterfly joint is there you have oh okay so you have single jointed elbows only but can you rotate the elbows you have biceps let's see let's take this off so we can it's easier to see if there is there is no bicep articulation no so there's no cut there but there's uh, no you hit them yeah so there's no bicep articulation uh, single jointed elbows and you have the um, it's not a bowl joint, but it's one of those sculptured joints for the hands. Okay, and let's put this back. All right, the chest nicely done. You have your torso and you have your waist. And so it's quite nimble and flexible and you can raise his trunks okay and then the legs also single uh, jointed yeah single jointed only for the knees and you can do the splits like so and you have the toe 
particulation and oh, that's a little bit different from the usual McFarland toys you kind of turn it around like that so just it's a different oh oh but there's a break here oh that's nice so there's um, a break on the leg on the knee besides yes it's single jointed but you can turn the knee left and right that's amazing and it can stand <coughs> no problem yeah and it would be nice to have the the, um, the vehicle you know the vehicle in the movie right of mr freeze the one with lots of spikes and again just an amazing amazing thing here with him holding this let's say just like so you know and just like that oh wow i love this series it's i think one of my favorite series if ever just because the likeness to the characters to the actors they're really really close close to bang on if not bang on especially uma thurman chris o'donnell and george clooney of the four i think it might be alicia silverstone that is a bit softer you know not as as um as bang on as the rest so yeah it's amazing 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 action figure here and um Will it be part of my top 20 action figures? I'm not so sure. That's why we have to uh, stay tuned and watch for it, all right? So friends, this episode ends here. If you haven't, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell as well, okay? Um, I'm starting to lose my voice again anyway. Fantastic set, fantastic series. And if you haven't, by the way, please watch Aquaman 2 amazing movie i don't know what the critics are saying about being bad but i actually enjoyed it much more so than the flash so just keep that in mind you know it just started yesterday no it started the 22nd i think and now it's the 26th it's boxing day so not even a week so if you if you can please go and watch aquaman too anyway going back to mr freeze here again it is wonderful if you can get the whole series, please do because that's the only way of, of having um, Arnie here, right? And actually, we're quite lucky that you only need to buy four to get the f to complete the build a fig. I think back in the day, most of the time you have to buy six or so. So yeah, that's good value for the money. Amazing, amazing sculpt, amazing. Okay, and please don't forget to watch out for my. Um, in-depth review of the rest of the action figures there okay so like what you should say always be kind to yourself always be kind to other people love your toys love your collection and no matter what they are so thank you santa for all of this ones a belated merry christmas happy boxing day and soon it's going to be a new year okay so goodbye i'll see you soon